So how do you prepare your garden soil at the end of the growing season or in the beginning of one? Let's find out. Now I just want to clarify that I am not associated with any company. All my reviews are honest opinions of what I have experienced. So the first method that we will see today is to use this product called Organic Choice which is a moisture control potting mix and it's actually a very high quality potting mix for the price it's sold at. So if you have a local Costco near your place you will probably see this item on the shelf you really can't miss it and this product has some very high quality ingredients and for the price it's fantastic. Let's take a closer look. We have a lot of organic material, organic fertilizers and some great quality compost which will really add value to the soil that you are preparing and it costs about 10 bucks for 2 cubic feet. Now you can do soil amendments anytime you see that the level of soil in your raised beds has gone down. So as you can see here this potting mix which is great for raised beds by the way because it contains a lot of compost and a lot of peat moss and pretty much everything that you need to condition your soil with and the peat moss really holds on to all the water making the watering of your plants much less frequent so here's a closer look it's pretty nice and pretty loose and fluffy soil so what you basically do is lay it on top of your raised beds and then try to mix it very well with the existing soil. Whether you are adding uncomposted mix to your raised beds or not, you must note that any kind of soil needs some time to settle down. Especially if you are using organic materials in your raised bed. It does take about a month, maybe a couple of months sometimes for it for the organic materials to break down so the second method that we're gonna see today is by just topping off your raised beds using compost. Now what I usually do is I put the remains of my potting mix into my compost bin so at the end of the season I get some really good quality compost which is basically a mix of some soil and a lot of organic matter. Now using compost is one of the best ways you can amend your garden soil and to top off raised beds this is a great way. If you make your own compost you're gonna get a lot of compost every time you finish your composting process. Now over time you will see that the soil level in your raised beds does go down so you really need to make sure that you're making up for the loss of soil by adding in rich organic matter like compost or potting soil as we saw here. So I'd like to know from you what is your method of rebuilding your soil. Do you use compost or do you use a ready to use potting mix? What is your favorite way to condition your soil? Do let me know. I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.